Hi, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this very simple crossword in Word. So I'm just going to open a new document. So the first thing I'm going to do is just quickly enter the title in. So I'm just going to center my text here to go to center text. And I'm just going to type in crossword. It's going to highlight that word, go to the home tab, bold, underline. I'm going to take that up to 20 and just change the text. There we go. Then I'm going to press the return key twice. And then I'm just going to go up to this icon here. And this is clear or formatting. That means that it will take me back to the original default fonts and font sizes. So when I type now, I'm back to my original font. The next thing I'm going to do is to click insert table, click on the drop down, and I'm just going to select eight by eight. And as you can see, I've got a table, but doesn't look much like a crossword. So I'm going to select the table and you can do that by selecting this square up here, or you can just simply grab your cursor and click and drag. Once you've done that, go to layout, go to this section here. And for this demonstration, I want my height to be one centimeter and my width to be one centimeter and just press enter. Great. So the next thing we need to do, if I type something in here now, you can see the number is in the center of this cell. We actually want the number right at the top here. So even if I selected my table, went to layout and went up to here, which we need to do anyway, align to top left. If I now type out one, it will end up in this top section here. But we want it to be a little bit further over, just to have a little bit more control. So I'm going to select my table. I'm going to right click, go down to table properties, go up to cell and go down to options. And then in cell margins, I'm going to uncheck this box, go over to here and then simply enter zero into all of the margins. So there is no margins in your cells and click OK and click OK. Now when I go to this cell here, if I type one, it's quite close to the edge there, which is absolutely fine. Or you can just press the space bar and put one in there. It's entirely up to you. But it just gives you that option now that you can put the number as far over as possible. So that just gives you a good idea of where you can put your text and how you can manipulate how close that number goes to the margins or the edges. So the next thing I'm going to do is just going to come down here, put my cursor down there, Press the return key again, and I'm going to insert table. And this time I'm going to insert a table five by six. And the reason we're going to do this is because we need to lay out the questions and answers. Now, obviously you don't want to display the answers. You can take those off, but for the construction of it, it's a good idea to do it this way. So the first thing I'm going to do is just highlight the top row, go to layout, and go to merge cells and just type in questions. And then all I'm going to do, I'm going to move this one and this one over to the center. And then I'm just going to select these two cells and merge them. And these will be the answers across and then all the questions across and do the same this side merge the cells and then just put down. In the middle here, I'm just going to select all of these, just click and drag. And then in layout again, I'm just going to merge those cells. So there's a clear gap between those two. Now we're going to get rid of the border lines here so you won't see them. But I'm just going to move this one over for the numbers and then move this one again over for the numbers. Now, I believe I need an extra row, so I'm just going to go to this bottom right row and press my tab key, and it will insert another row for me. And then, obviously this depends on how many questions and answers you have. But all I'm going to do now is I'm going to select this table, I'm going to copy it, so go to the Home tab, 
select the copy icon here and then just pop your cursor below that table just press the return key once and then go to paste and now we have an identical table but this time this will be our answers now if you already know all the words that you want to select and pop into your crossword that's great you can go ahead and put them in but sometimes you'll need to manipulate it a little bit and test out where you want things to lie and you might want to pick the words as you go along so the first thing I'm going to do is to pick the first word going across the top Now I'm not going to put the numbers in now because this is how you plan things out so my first word is going to be fishing so all I'm going to do is enter in the words now when you're planning out a crossword there are certain squares that you won't be able to use again for example you won't be able to put anything in this square here because obviously it will link to this word here so you can go straight up to table design go along to shading click on the drop down and select black now that will take out that first square there so you can't use that cell so that's a really good guide for you so now you can decide where your next word will go and what that word will be so for me I then entered the word in shore so I'm going to go down here and enter that word in there now again I can't use this square here again because obviously if I do I'm going to make another word in the opposite direction so I can then take out those ones that are basically on a corner so if you've got a corner here where the words are then you can then black out those squares you know you can't use them I can go ahead and use these for words going down but I can't use these here so I can immediately block those out so now I can put my next word in and once again I can then go ahead and make that cell black and this one here I can't use that one there either and again once that words in there we're obviously going to take all of these letters out and just put the numbers in at the end but this is just how you plan it out now once again I won't be able to use this square here or this square here this square here or this one here I also won't be able to use this one here because again if I come down here I'm going to make a different word and unless I want to make a two letter word there I can't use this one either now I won't be able to use this one here won't be able to use that one there or this one here or this one here or this one here then you can see the gaps that you're left with and then you can go ahead and pick the words that you want that will fit those gaps so that's all the availability that you have and that's where you'll ensure that you won't cross over and start making small two-letter words around the crossword to then confuse things okay so once you have all of your words in we need to go ahead and decide which numbers to allocate to each word so one across is going to be fishing so we go down to the answers go down to across put one in here and then just type your answer what you don't want to do is get rid of all of these words and then forget which words you've put where so once you've put this in go back up to fishing take the F out or your first letter out put one in so you know that's one across and then I'm going to take out all the letters associated with just this word so I'm not going to take out the S for this word here I'm just going to take out all those letters that are just associated with fishing that don't affect another word so I leave this one in and N for nautical then the next one I come to is shore so I'm going to make this one two down so go to down select two sorry select the box I need to make that a little bit wider two down select number two and put sure and then again take out those letters put number two in just take out those letters associated with that word go along 
three down here, so go to down, go to three, type in the word, put the three in to make sure it correlates, and once again take out those letters only associated with that word. My next word I come to is mollusk, so again we're going to allocate that four across. So go to across, type in four, type in the answer, put the four in on the crossword so you know it correlates again, and just take out these letters associated. The next one we come to is keep, so that will be five down. And then put the five in, take out those letters. The next one I come to is six down, which is truck. So go to six. Put the six in and then just take out any other letters. The next word I come to is rue, so I'm going to put that seven across. Again, take out the letter seven in. The next one is eight across, which is tied. So go to across, type in eight. And then again, take out those letters. Next one I come to is down. That'll be nine down, which is ask. Oh, I forgot to put that in. Tied. And then nine down. Nine. There we go, put the nine in. And then finally, 10 across is coastal. So go down to 10, pop that in. And the answer. Perfect. And there you have your crossword and the answers. And if we select the crossword, go to home and select center, it will center the entire crossword. And then all you need to do is to go ahead and put in your questions. So I'm just going to copy and paste mine. I'm just going to make a little bit more of a gap between those two. And then you can just customize these. So I'm going to select question, go to the home tab, make that bold, and then take it to 18. And again, you can do the same with the answers, but you don't have to, because obviously you want to take the answers out. Uh, but for your own purposes, you can put this in just so that you can refer to it. And then if you want to take out these border lines, select the table, go to table design, go to borders, click on the drop down and select no borders. And then again, you can do that with this one as well and just click no borders. And there you have your crossword, your questions and your answers. If you want to take out the answers, all you need to do is select the table and simply click delete. Go back, command or control Z to get them back again. But if you want to put them on a different page, all you need to do is just press the return key a number of times, and then you can just pop those on a separate page. And then you can just use this first page to print out. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.